So after I got in home, they locked me inside for some time, from some uh, years, for some years. People are just saying, let's go and look for a man to give to her. My name is Gift Blessing Igwe. Actually, the first eyes that first go, before the second one happened. So the, the first one happened when I was a kid. Then the second one happened when I'm in the school, coming back from school. Me and my, one of my sisters has an yeah, issue, just because of a um, 15 era or more. So the two of us started fighting. She fight and I don't know what it's me something there. So that is how I lost the first eyes. But the second one is that uh, when I'm coming back from school, that time I'm still in uh, university, the one at um, Benedion, at Bini. We have an accident on the road, me, me with my friend. And I lost her immediately. I mean, I'm rushed down to the hospital. Let me just say like for like six days, I wake up back, then I discover that I cannot see with my second eyes again. So that is how I lost the two sights. So my mommy did not even believe, because she think that it's all the minus things. She told me that, ah, is she going to cope with me? Actually, she called my rest, uh, sisters, my siblings, after I got in home, they locked me inside for some time, from some uh, years, for some years. People are just saying, let's go and look for a man to give to her. So they started discouraging me because of the challenges. But me, I didn't mind them on all what they are saying. I didn't mind them. So I still put my hope on God. So I think for some, let me just say for some years, before I never met a woman that introduced me to blind center, so they started teaching us mobility. There's what we call mobility. That is how to walk with our guiding cane. So after teaching us that one, they teach us how to cook. They teach us so many work beats, soap making, eyes, everything. I will make the course for one year course. So after that, I wanted to further my education. That is to go back to school. But my getting known back is that my mommy says she cannot afford the money. So that is how the journey looked like. It's a very painful journey because it did not let me to fulfill my, my dream. Because it's not easy for me. Concerning the music, um, I have been doing that maybe before my, I lost my sight. That is from choir, from choir in the church. I'm doing choir with a uh, Lopa Noisy. That is a uh, Dunola Rewaju. So from there, I cash up. Then when I go to Blind School again, they thought, thought about music. So from there, I see sponsor, so the person that sponsored me down to the studio. Then when I go to the studio, I start from there. I've released uh, two albums. The other one is a uh, God of Compassion. Then the other one is uh, Turn My Mercury to Miracle. When I go to show, I do sell my CD. And then when I come back, I will try to arrange money to go back to the studio. But the thing is not easy. So I went to one church to go and minister there. So God said the man that is, in my, that is my husband today that he should be the father of my children. So he told the pastor that he wanted to get married to me. Then after that, the pastor introduced us together. Then let me just say one year relationship that we did our marriage and God bless us with three kids. For now, we are not together. During the Ayobo girls exposure, my husband is part of them that have the injury and we are still on it now. We have already taken him from the hospital because we cannot be able to pay the payment again. So he's with the family now taking care of him. For my plan, I wanted to go back to school if I had the opportunity. And then after that, about my music, I want my music to go far because I don't have the power to do all those things again. I don't want to be a liability to people, depending on people before I can do things. This is usually for my children and for myself. Like those uh, work that they teach us in the school, bead, bead making, soap making, um, um, paint, eyes, all those things. I wish that if God can help me, I can still go back to the business. So 
so that I can use it to survive.